Obama calling for a return to the 1967 border agreement between Israel and Palestine. It's a plan that has critics on both sides of the aisle, including Republican Illinois Senator Mark Kirk, who's my guest right now. Good morning to you. Thanks for Good having me. Good to see you. All right, so a lot of people were stunned when the president made this announcement yesterday. And really, the whole other part of the speech was overwhelmed by this statement, right? That's right, uh, and it was uh, ironic on the timing. The very same month that uh, the Palestinian Authority enter into alliance with a terrorist organization, Hamas, which Secretary of uh, State Clinton has certified as supporting terror and responsible for the murder of 26 Americans, the president then sides with a key Palestinian negotiating point. Mm -hmm. I think it was very poor timing. Do you think that the timing, though, was on purpose because today the president will meet with Israel Prime Minister Netanyahu? I'm a bit confused because now this is going to be an extraordinarily difficult meeting at the White House. The president will also appear before uh, 11,000 pro-Israel activists on Sunday, and we're all wondering how that's going to go. Mm -hmm. But wouldn't this be that the president might be saying, hey, I'm going to state my case in advance of this meeting, so now Netanyahu knows where I stand going into it? Yes, the president clearly, he, he has lurched to the Palestinian side on a key negotiating point. And for the rest of us, I think Congress is worrying. Should we continue to provide over $200 million in taxpayer assistance to the Palestinian Authority now that it is formally allied with a terrorist organization? So many other issues going on. I want to pick your brain on this one. The president's going to visit the CIA today. And I know that you and 33 other Senate GOP uh, leaders have sent him a letter asking him to stop this interrogation of CIA agents. That's right. Those CIA agents who were interrogating terrorists, trying to to uh, carry out their duty to protect their country should not be prosecuted. So we're calling on the president uh, this morning when he speaks at the CIA, he should say, I am stopping the prosecution of, uh, of your agents uh, because uh, I know that they were uh, doing their duty to protect the country. I hope he says that. We'll see. It's interesting because after the killing of Osama bin Laden, uh, this topic came back up in full force. Because many people said, well, it was exactly those interrogations that led us to Osama bin Laden. And yet now our own people may, in fact, be criminalized. Right. More importantly, it's the chilling effect. If a CIA agent knows that Eric Holder is standing right around the corner uh, with a potential indictment and prison sentence, you're going to go light on terrorists. And we need to go heavy on terrorists. And we need our, uh, especially the CIA, to be extremely forward-leaning, mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to take risks in difficult places, and not to be always lawyered up. And that's, uh, if you talk to the people in the field, they're doing right. just the opposite right now. I want to take a look at this Fox poll because it's very interesting. The majority of voters, when we're talking about funding and providing aid for Pakistan, here's what they say. 73% of Americans believe that we should stop funding Pakistan. Where do you stand on this? Here's the difficulty. Our supply lines, the beans and bullets that keep our army in Afghanistan going, all come through Pakistan. So if we declare diplomatic war on Pakistan, it will be very difficult to supply General Petraeus and his forces in Afghanistan. I think it's three-dimensional chess, knowing that parts of the Pakistani government work for bin Laden and support him. Other parts uh, very much oppose. A key turning point for Pakistan is when bin Laden allies, the, the Pakistani Taliban, assassinated the very popular prime minister, Benazir Bhutto. Yep. And I think when that happened, Pakistan began authorizing these drone strikes. Mm -hmm. Remember, as much as Pakistani politicians complain, they have authorized the drone strikes. Yep. And it's a difficult place for the United States because we need them at the That's same right. time. Senator Kirk, great to see you. Thank you. In Thank person. You for me. Yes. Thanks so much. You bet.